Hey guys, welcome back to JD Lil Tech Talks, and today we have an interesting one for you. Evo Intel, what is it? So, what is Evo? I've been looking around on the web, over everywhere, looking for my next laptop, and it just keeps popping up. Um, so, we've done a bit of research here at JD Lil Tech Talks, and here's what we found. First thing to know, Intel had a program called Project Athena. So this program required that laptops in this category had consistent and steady length of battery life. So far so good. Fast charging, also good. We all love some fast charging and extremely almost instantaneous wait times for these laptops. Instantaneous wait times. Ooh, sign me up. So all of this is good. But why the name change? So the change came with the announcement of the new generation 11 Tiger Lake processors. Great name, Intel. So Intel announces Evo a couple months back. So far, some Dell devices and some HP devices, you know, those guys have put out those new Evo Intel devices. Question is, will someone like Microsoft commit to this? We all know that Apple won't. They've committed to that Apple Silicon stuff. Um, the main driver behind Athena and now with Evo is to be to drive laptop innovation. That's their big focus in Telefis. So, besides that, um, by the way, I do love that word, innovation. It just gives you chills. You hear the word innovation, you think of stuff like NASA, putting people on the moon, getting a new car, I don't know. So, devices like the Dell XPS 13, 930,000, um, and HP Spectre, X360-13 are featuring this EVO label. Um, so what are some of the differences? So under EVO there are some differences, managed usage of i5 or i7 core processors, not those little i3 and m3 anymore. Also Intel XE graphics need to be included to be considered an EVO laptop. So the three big numbers base benchmarks to get that Intel Evo label are a wait time of less than a second nice nice um, nine plus hours of real-world battery life and plus four hours of battery off just a 30-minute charge Wow we talking in smartphone numbers here there folks um, by the way the catch is your Intel Evo device also has to be full HD You heard that right. It has to be full HD, meaning not happening for those Surface devices anytime soon. Well, shucks, the industry movers aren't in this one. But wait, you're saying this isn't a laptop spec? Why, yes, indeed it is. Over here, in these tech talks, we like to discuss these two-in-ones as, yes, uh, I'm going to say it's a laptop. If it's a two-in-one, it's a laptop. The XPS and Spectre are fine two-in-ones that do fit bill of a war file laptop and there's more to intel than just that you ready for some quick talk wi-fi 6 thunderbolt 4 usb-c charging 8 gigs of ram 256 gigs of ssd biometric login 12 to 15 inches in size 15 millimeters or less fans narrow bezels 720p camera minimum high quality speakers fhd touch display and a thin and light build while still being premium so, don't expect to see any of your favorite gaming laptops pick up this label. Sorry, G-Heads, not for you. But expect this. Your next daily driver purchase will probably feature Intel Evo if you're going to Best Buy, B&H, you know, getting some tech support. Um, so, you have some money to drop. Look for that Intel Evo branding. If not, just move on to that other thing. There's plenty of good laptops to go around. 
that's it. Thanks for watching JD Little Tech Talks in this video. Um, like and subscribe to see more slightly deep dives on the tech you need. Peace.